The term water coaster is thrown around a lot in the amusement industry today. The term can refer to roller coasters that feature water or flume ride elements, or water slides that feature roller coaster like elements. Today we'll be taking a deeper look at the history, design, and operation of the second type of water coaster rides that resemble water slides but behave much like roller coasters. This type of attraction is a lot more interesting than what meets the eye, and actually operates a lot more like a roller coaster than most people think. The water coaster we know today was invented by Jeff Henry's company, New Braunfels General Store, or NBGS, in 1994. This is the same Jeff Henry that would go on to build the disastrous water coaster Verut in 2014. Back in 1994, he owned and operated the company NBGS, which along with a team of engineers invented the Master Blaster. The first installation of this slide would be at Henry's own Schlitterbahn New Braunfels and named Dragon's Revenge. This type of ride works by having low velocity but high flow water jets embedded in the uphill sections of the slide. These water jets are similar to those found on a surf rider surfing attraction. They are not strong enough to injure a rider if they were to fall out of the raft, but they do have enough flow to send rafts uphill with some speed. The Master Blaster and all water coasters designed after it feature block zones that allow multiple rafts to traverse the slide layout at once, without the risk of rafts colliding. This is done by having each valley of the ride act as a break. If the section ahead of an approaching raft is occupied by another raft, the propulsion method, in the case of a Master Blaster, the water jet, will shut down. This will cause the raft to fail to clear the next hill. These rides detect the position of rafts using photo eyes or magnetic proximity sensors much like roller coasters. Unlike roller coasters, which can usually restart after a ride unit stops in a block zone automatically, most water coasters require ride units to already be in motion to be moved. This means that if a water coaster block checks, it must be unloaded of riders and have its rafts manually pushed to have them resume the ride layout. On rides with smaller, lighter rafts, the rafts may be removed from the ride entirely and taken back to the start of the ride. NBGS was dissolved in 2007 after Jeff Henry got bored of making off-the-shelf rides for other parks and decided to start making marquee rides for Schlitterbahn parks independently. He sold the rights to the design of the Master Blaster to Whitewater West. Today, Whitewater still makes slides in this design. In 2021, Whitewater opened the world's tallest water coaster, Tsunami Surge at Six Flags Hurricane Harbor, Chicago. The ride is 86 feet or 26 meters tall. While NBGS stole the show for water coasters at first, other water slide manufacturers did not sit idle as the uphill water slide trend grew. Whitewater and ProSlide independently invented the conveyor belt launch water coaster in 2005 with the first to open being Whitewater's Zip Coaster at Kalahari Sandusky. This design of water coaster uses several high-speed conveyors to launch rafts uphill and on flat surfaces. ProSlide would enter the water coaster market with a slide of the same design. These slides are known for their rapid and forceful accelerations, but they're also known for being very high maintenance. The design of the slide sees conveyors turning on when a raft approaches, then shutting off after a raft leaves the conveyor. When an incoming raft comes in contact with a conveyor, the conveyor is never running at the exact same speed as the raft. This means that each time the raft comes into contact, there is some wear and tear on the raft as well as on the conveyor. This resulted in this design of slide being discontinued shortly after it was introduced. The last of these slides to be installed was Niagara Rapids Run installed at Great Wolf Lodge Niagara Falls, Canada, which opened in 2006. The wear and tear placed on these slides was increased with some designs, such as Zip Coaster, which used a conveyor as a brake at the end of the slide. Zip Coaster was removed in 2020 and is being replaced by a wall slide from Whitewater. Even with their flaws, conveyor belt water coasters were known for being very thrilling due to their rapid changes in speed and their still higher capacity than normal water slides due to them using the same block system as the Master Blaster. ProSlide would shock the water coaster industry in 2006 with the invention of the hydromagnetic water coaster. This new design was made to eliminate the risk of riders not in rafts being injured by the high flow of water or by the physical contact with a high-speed conveyor. This new system uses linear induction motors, or LIMs, mounted under the slide path to control the speed of the raft. The rafts themselves are fitted with a special reaction plate allowing them to be affected by the LIMs. The LIMs work by having an iron core surrounded by rolled copper wire. 
When energized with AC current, they produce a magnetic field that interacts with the reaction plate inside of the specialized rafts of the slide. The LIMs can be adjusted in real time to impart more or less force on the raft based on its measured speed. If this system sounds familiar, that's because it's nearly the same as what's used on LIM launched roller coasters. This system allows for rafts to be launched at greater speeds than a water propelled water coaster, and since there's no physical contact with the launch mechanism, these slides experience the least wear and tear of any water coaster design. They operate in a very coaster like way as well, with full PLC control systems that not only monitor a block system with each dip on the ride being able to act as a block brake, but the system also measures the speed of rafts and adjusts the LAM motors accordingly. This ensures that rafts never overspeed, even when carrying riders of varying weights. The first hydromagnetic launch coaster was SuperTube's Hydro Coaster, installed at Dreamworld Australia's water park, Whitewater World, in 2006. The hydromagnetic water coaster, like the Master Blaster, is still a very popular model for parks today. The block setup on all water coasters allows for a much higher capacity than traditional water slides, with some water coasters boasting capacities above 1,000 riders per hour. The capacity of any ride is largely determined by the capacity of the rider vehicles. The hydromagnetic design, master blaster design, and pro slide's newer blast design are all capable of using different size rafts, with the smallest water coasters using just one or two person rafts, and the largest using six person rafts. The hydromagnetic launch coaster was followed up by pro slide with their blast model, a water propelled launch coaster that does not infringe on Whitewater's patent. The Blast uses several small water sprayers mounted to the side of the slide trough, as opposed to just a few large water jets under the raft. This has the effect of getting riders more soaked as they crest the top of hills on the slide due to the increased height of the water sprayer relative to the riders. The Blast model water coasters were introduced in 2015 and have increased in popularity. Both Pro Slide and Whitewater also offer water jet propelled water coasters with flat sections that act as launches. Whitewater's most recent water coaster invention has been the Mat Racer Blaster. This slide takes the Master Blaster technology and places it on a Mat Racer slide. Currently, this is the only water coaster design that does not require a raft. I hope you enjoyed this crash course on water coasters. They're a fascinating ride model that will likely continue to grow in popularity over the next several years. Pro Slide and Whitewater still see lots of interest in these models and it's likely they'll both continue to innovate in this space. Water coasters offer a fast, airtime-packed ride experience that cannot be found on any other water slide. Do you have a favorite water coaster? Thanks for watching, and see you next time.